going on guys my name is Jetsy here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your own very YouTube logo which if you don't know is this right here using Pixlr um, it's going to be a very nice looking YouTube logo and it, it's just going to look incredible okay so first thing that you want to do is go ahead and search up a background and personally I'm doing a blue grunge and you always want to put 1920 by 1080 after make sure that you do that now I went with a blue grunge because blue is my favorite color and grunge um, you want your you know your channel color to be in the background so put blue um, or whatever your channel color is so if it's purple you'd have put purple grunge but you don't have to do grunge you can do a gradient gradient bam that's what that looks like or even a sun sun burst which is like this right here but personally I already saved my grunge uh, which was just make sure that you keep that 1920 by 1080 mine is this one right here it's a little bit bigger than 1920 by 1080 so it'll still work next what you want to do is go ahead and search up cooltext.com um, when you get there you'll see something that looks like so it looks like, like Well, when you get there, it'll look kind of like this. You can go up in the search box, and if you want the one that I have that looks really nice, it will look really nice. I actually suggest you do that. That's very rare that I will actually suggest you to do something like that. Um, but And then you want to click on the white one because white is the color that you'll be using. And then you want to take your channel letters. If you don't know what your channel letters are, they're the letters that stand out in your cha in your name. So like I would say like the first letter and the last letter or something like that if you have one long name or one short name or whatever. Now if you have a name that has two words, just use the first letter of the first name, second letter of the second. Um, so yeah. So now head over to Pixlr after you've saved it. How you save it is you just do that, save picture as. Um, save that puppy and then come down here uh, launch web app right here pixel editor okay now open image from computer so well we gotta wait for it to load up bam um, so then you want to go hold on <coughs> um, all right sorry guys um, so here we go, right here. Now the first thing that you want to do is go to file, open image. Um, then you want to find your letters, so there's mine. Open. Right now you may be thinking, what the heck, it's not right. And so then you want to go to edit. And then you want to go to, go down and find control A. And then go down and find control C. And then go down and find control V. Wait, not yet. You want to then click on the other one since you have that one right there, and then you want to go down and put Control V, and it'll paste right there. Then you want to come down and you want to find the moving tool, which is move tool. There you go, and you can move this around. Um, so I'm gonna just move it right there. Right there. That'll look good. Um, and then you want to. Honestly, guys, you can just set it off to the side for right now. You don't actually need it yet. Because you want to make your circle first. Um, so, here's how you do that. Go down, press new layer. The new layer button is brought by the trash can. Then you want to go press drawing tool. You want to go to circle. You want to go to opacity. And you want to go ahead and turn that down to like 72. Um, then you want to go to border size. Go ahead and turn that up to like 11. And then you want to uncheck fill shape. And then you just basically how you do this. 
first of all, I'm just gonna make this a little bigger so I can edit it really well. Is you wanna click here and hold it and just drag kind of diagonal. So bam. And look at that beautiness. Alright, now you can go to move tool. And you can go ahead and move it around. So, you move it right there. Alright, now go back to layer one. Move tool. Move that sucker right in there. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. Whoa, dude, this looks so beast. <laughs> but we're not done. So then you want to go to white. And you want to go ahead and make your... Oh, poop. Well, shoot. If you make a mistake like that, just go to edit and go to undo, okay? Because that was just a complete mess up right there. Oh, I did it again. I forgot. You have to, um, you have to go to layer two, the one with this circle. And then you can just, oh, poop. I kind of messed up there, so I'm going to go ahead and go to undo again. And undo again. And then you can finally, finally do it. And bam, it may look pixely at first. I, I understand that. Excuse that. Um, but it will look, eventually look good. Uh, when you're done with it, it will render out and it'll look really good. So th we're going to go back to the move tool. We're going to move this over just a bit. Now up. Bam! That looks really nice, guys. Um, so, now what you want to do is you want to go here and go to Drop Shadow. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoops, my bad. And I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. Look, you can see a little black outline on that. That's going to make it look so professional, guys. You will be crying to your mama because you're just like, dude, how is this thing free or something like that, you know? Um, so you just want to click on that and go ahead and do like, I'm going to do opacity like a 85. I'm going to go ahead and do distance like a 20. I don't know how this is going to look, um, but yeah. And then keep it at black since you have white as your color. And look at that. That looks good for me right now. Uh, that looks very good in my opinion. In my opinion. Now you can go back to this one and do the same thing so drop shadow it basically makes the thing look like it's 3d um, and that's what you want you want it to look like it's 3d so I'm gonna be doing the same thing in distance actually let's keep it at 10 size or bam just check it out I don't know if you can see that. You can't really because of the shadow thing, so let me just try to do this again. Distance, that's what I mean. More distance. <laughs> you know, it's trial and error, guys, and so just keep on working until you get what you like. Honestly, right now I can't really see it because of the shadow, but it still looks amazing, so we all good. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, now, if you want to add some more things in, you can, um, like, you can go ahead and change the color, I guess, if you wanted. Um, you can do more of this kind of stuff, like bevel. That's the one I'm looking for. A bevel. Um, so let's look at that. Inner. Outer. Distance. Four, four, four. Let's look at that. I don't know. I can't tell if it's doing anything. Uh, but yeah, you can just add whatever the heck you want. Um, outer glow, inner glow, inner shadow. You know what not then here we go uh, let's go ahead and go here and let's do a solid 
<clears throat> Let's grab a bevel. Inner. Outer. Inner. Let's get an inner. And what bevel does is it makes it look super 3D, I think. Um, so, we're going to keep bevel on and... Uh, that's really going to be the end, so now all we want to do is go ahead and go to File, go to Save, and let me just look at this. Oh, that's what the bevel does, okay? The bevel creates like another one behind it, if you want that. So personally, I don't exactly know if I want that, but it does look very 3D-ish. Um, we'll give you that much. So I'm going to see inner or outer. Let's see what this looks like. Save. Um, I'll go ahead and keep that 100% quality. You to logo. You know, it's all your choice. So I may, I may go back and I may change this. To be honest, like it, it could happen. Um, but so now you want to head over to your YouTube. You want to come here. Edit channel icon. So then you're going to come here, you're going to click there, and you want to find your pick, upload photo, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to find your beautiful creation that we have just created, um, so there it is, and bam, now guys, are you ready? I don't know exactly what this is looking like, um, but yeah, that looks so cool, guys. That looks so cool. Um, so, hopefully, it'll look amazing when we get it. Um, so, yeah. Wait, did it save? No. Try this again. YouTube logo. Bam. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, I just want. I want it to be a little bit more focused in on the J and the Z. It will make a circle out of this, so that should work. And then done. And look at that. That is my new YouTube picture, so. That is just, oh my goodness, guys, I cannot believe that that is like that now, um, so, yeah, I really did enjoy that. So, guys, that's how you do it, right there, um, so now, I guess you can go ahead and, There we go, so just making sure that that was there, and so now you can go ahead and exit off YouTube, alright, and then go to YouTube again, cool. and when you get to my channel, there you can see this amazing logo, oh my goodness, this is my favorite logo I've ever had. I hope you did enjoy. I hope I helped you guys a lot. And look at how professional that looks. That's amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, thank you so much for 19 subscribers. Let's get to 20. And um, please like and subscribe. Stay epic, my friends.